guys. How you doing? Uh, I'm okay. I'd be even better if I could learn how to hold things without dropping them. <laughs> I took my trusty little thermos, uh, my little pioneer woman thermos, into uh, a convenience store to get some ice. I said, well, how much would you charge me to fill this with ice? He says, oh, 50 cents. So I go fill it. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about me, you know. <laughs> and I pay for it. I said, yeah, keep the dollar. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, big spender. <laughs> I get it in the van and I spill half of it because I didn't have the lid on right. I think it's good for, but I have enough for tonight. It's cheaper than buying a drink at McDonald's. So, hey, I'm, I'm good. Uh, so, tonight we had we had some of this. Yummy. And I noticed, I said, ooh, I've got to eat some of this stuff because every single one of them is uh, best by November 23. So I'm going to have to eat some. Ugh. And it was perfectly fine. You know, it's no big deal. Anyway, we had uh, rice and beans for dinner. Sammy had his little dog food stuff because he's not having beans. And he's not a big fan of rice. That yellow rice, anyway. So, yeah. And today has been beautiful. Beautiful. Whoop, whoop. What, what? Um, it's been so breezy. It's like, you know, when you go to the pool or the beach and you're out in the sun all day and you just feel, ugh, you know, that's what it was like. I was just laying down in the van, just soaking it all in. It was a wonderful thing. It was a wonderful thing. Um, yeah, I was happy. I'm still happy. Still happy. Even though I, I dumped most of my ice all over my, <laughs> my stuff that I keep in the middle of the, between the seats, you know, pens, change. Yeah, etc., etc. It's covered with ice. I said, yeah. okay, I don't care. <laughs> the pins will dry, the money will dry. No big deal. So, uh, don't sweat the small stuff, people. Don't sweat the small stuff. It's not worth it, okay? Um, yeah, I cleaned up the fan today and uh, rearrange a couple of my, I still have to, I still have to take everything out and totally clean and put everything back in. But kind of been waiting to get back to Indiana. Indiana. What the hell? Where the hell did that come from? I don't know. Um, Tennessee, uh, because I was thinking about I was thinking about going to uh, see my mom and dad, uh, yeah, and just check the grave out and see how they're doing, you know, have a talk with them, you know, the normal stuff. Uh, yeah, but they've been on my mind today, so that's why I said, Indiana, hmm. Uh, besides that, Indiana is where White Castle is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm not going up there yet. No, no, no. Uh, it's still probably too cold. <coughs> anyway, uh, when I get up to uh, Tennessee and I go talk to Dave, we're going to go hunting vans and, uh, if I find something, I don't want to, you know, do double duty, cleaning this out and then putting it back in and then cleaning it out again. No, no. I just do it all at once. Clean it out in here. 
put it in the other van if I if I'm blessed enough to find one yep that's what I'm gonna do so everything I've got everything neat you know it's not it's not you know spick and span uh, but it'll do it'll do and it doesn't smell my van doesn't smell people I don't know where people get idea that my van smells I don't know uh, I, I don't know um, I'm thinking why do you, does your car smell when you does your house smell no it doesn't smell unless you're a slob so anyway um yeah so I've got nine stores to do I'm gonna get I'm hoping to get four done tomorrow and then uh, four done on Wednesday and one on my way back up to Tennessee so that'll work out real good it'll work out real good so um yeah uh, I was going to tell you something else but <sighs> oh oh okay someone asked me what I did with, to my arm okay I don't know if you're talking about this oh look at that saggy look at that Ugh. Or are you talking about that? Okay. If you're talking about this, I had a mosquito bite. Welcome to living outdoors, okay, in the spring and summer. Look, check out my hands. I have been bit and bit and bit. And, yeah, I'm a mess. And I'm a picker, so, you know. <laughs> anyway, I had a I had a mosquito bite right here. I was scratching and I it, it's just it's so bad. I was scratching, scratching, scratch until I scratched a place about that big raw. Okay. So after a couple days of hitting it and it opening up and hitting it and opening up, I finally decided to put a Band-Aid on it. And uh, it's, I think it's doing pretty good now. This, I don't know. I think that's something old people get. You know, um, if I scratch or, or you know, uh, it kind of makes blood blisters. I don't know. Does anyone else have that thing going on? I don't know. But, yeah, a mosquito got me there, too. And it made one of them blood blister things. <sighs> I have to find my my um, Avon uh, Skin So Soft. Because that really keep I, I soak me and Sammy in it. And it works wonders on Sammy. I mean, we never get, uh, we never get bit if we got that on. And then, uh, I haven't been able, yes, I packed everything in the back, and I haven't been able to get out there and find my coffee thing, my bug repellent coffee thing, which, you know, it's still a lot. I might go out and do that now, after I, after I get done with you guys. Um, yeah, I might do that. So... But this is the beauty of sleeping at truck stops and, you know, city type, not city, but, you know, rural type areas. You don't have to worry about mosquitoes as much as you do if you're camping out in the wilderness or um, anything that has, like, grass and trees around, like some uh, cracker barrels do. They have... Yeah, I mean, it's like being in the woods, only not. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's that's bad. Or at my cousin's house, if I didn't have that screen up in my window, I would have just really been in bad shape. Uh, because they're like, whoosh, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I think that's it. I think I answered your And I'm not going to Chicago. Everybody will be happy. I think I've decided to stay out of the big city 
and I'm not saying anything bad about Chicago. In fact, one of my, uh, actually a couple of my uh, yarn people, friends, uh, live in Chicago, and I've wanted to go see him, but things are kind of tense right now. I'm not thinking it's a good idea. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going there. I might go to Virginia. I heard there's a, a couple really good stores there. And uh, so we'll see. Anyway, so you guys take it easy. Take the long way home. Woo!